I'm Captain Mark Corbin with the Oklahoma City Fire Department. And I'm Captain Benny Fulkerson. You know, electrical fires are something we see quite often in the fire service, but the good news is most of those fires are preventable. Today, we want to give you some tips on how to keep your home safe from electrical fires. The wiring that runs through the ceilings and walls of your home probably resembles this. This is the permanent wiring that comes from the breaker box and feeds ceiling fixtures, wall switches, and wall receptacles. Through the use of inexpensive, lightweight extension cords, we can bring electricity to virtually anywhere in our home. However, once you plug these in and forget about them, they now become part of the permanent wiring in your home. This is permanent wiring. This was never intended to be permanent wiring. You're exactly right, Captain Corbin. Those are good tips. And I'll tell you what, this is something that we see very often in the fire service as well. This is a power strip that is just loaded full of all kinds of devices plugged into it. Is this something that's safe, Captain Corbin? Should we be doing this? No, in fact, you should never piggyback on a power strip like this. It was never intended to multiply the number of outlets that you have here. And if you do choose to use a power strip, Make sure we use low wattage devices like a cell phone charger or even a small lab. That makes good sense. You know, it's these simple things that we can do like this that really go a long ways towards fire safety in our homes. Here's something else simple that you may not have considered. We all have lamps and light fixtures in our home and it's important to go around and check those because these fixtures are designed to be used with a very specific wattage of a light bulb. For instance, this particular lamp was designed to be used with a 60 watt maximum light bulb. So if I were to place, for instance, a 150 watt bulb in this lamp, it's going to cause excessive heat to build up, which could cause a fire, or at bare minimum, it could damage your fixture. And another thing that we see with our light fixtures is, a lot of times we'll respond on a, on a fire and we'll realize that, that somebody had taken a wet towel or possibly an article of clothing and they placed it over their lamp in an effort to dry it out or warm it up. And they didn't realize that, that that simple light bulb had plenty of heat to actually cause a fire if you were to do something like this. So that's something we certainly want you to refrain from. Well, we all know what these are, wall receptacles. This is a specialized wall receptacle called a ground fault circuit interrupter. These are often found in bathrooms and kitchens. Now the idea here is that if an appliance is plugged in and that appliance gets wet, the electricity to the outlet is immediately cut off, thus avoiding a possible fire or even electrocution. Absolutely. And you know, speaking of electrocutions, how many of you have small children in your home? And unfortunately, we know that small children are known for placing objects inside these electrical outlets. Unfortunately, approximately 2,400 children each year across our country do receive electrical shocks and burns from doing just that. There are a couple of things that you can do to safeguard your home against that. The first thing you could do would be to install what we call a tamper resistant outlet. And what that simply means is a child would have to take two objects at the same time and insert them simultaneously into those outlet holes in order to complete that electrical circuit and receive that shock. So that's the first thing that you could do. And if you want to, to ramp it up a little bit more, take it to the next level, you can install the, the simple plug protectors that you could get at any hardware store into your outlets too. And that's just another deterrent to keep those children away from those outlets. Captain Fulkerson, are there any warning signs that might prompt us to call a qualified electrician to investigate? Absolutely. There are actually several things that you need to be on the lookout for. For instance, you may have frequent blown fuses or trip circuit breakers. You may have a tingling feeling when you touch an electrical appliance. You could have discolored or worn wall outlets. Uh, you may have a burning or rubbery smell coming from an appliance. Flickering, dimming lights in your home. Obviously sparks coming from an outlet. Those are all indications that you have an issue of some kind and you do need to contact a qualified electrician to diagnose your electrical system. All good tips, Captain. Check back with us frequently for more fire safety tips.